Good morning guys or good afternoon whether you're joining me from the present or the future welcome back to another future fight vanguard video today we're going to be finishing up the veb09 raging tactics set of our future fights here with our mega colony deck uh so this is the last um new deck um in the set that is focused on milling um so mega colony's new mechanic is milling our opponent out and gaining but uh gaining effects based on whether or not they mill a trigger unit or a normal unit so we're going to get right into the deck here. Um, quick note, if you guys are watching this, I am in Japan. Uh, I know I've said this in my previous videos, uh, but you guys will not be receiving new videos until I get back. Hopefully I'm able to spread my videos so that by the time I'm back, it's no problem. And I can still give you guys videos. Or if I can upload from Japan, I will be able to um, give you guys videos while I'm in Japan. Whether that be vlog, vlog videos or these videos, etc. Um, or updated future fights. But yes, um, that is the current case scenario. And I don't think there's anything much to say besides that. Um, if you guys haven't uh, like watched my previous videos already, be sure to turn uh, tune into Worlds. Uh, Worlds happens on Sunday. Um, and I believe that is the 17th, 18th, 17th, 18th, 19th, the 20th. Uh, Sunday the 20th, that sounds about right. Um, but yeah, tune in. Be, be sure to tune in on the World Finals that day. Um, I'll be competing. Many other good, cool players will be competing. Uh, and I'm sure that'll be a fun event for you to watch if you're a Vanguard player. But with that being said, let's get right into the video here. Um, <laughs> sorry guys, I'm so tired. I'm like, stayed up all night. But <clears throat> let's get right into the video here. If you guys haven't already, be sure to like the video. If you guys like it, comment down below letting me know your thoughts on the video and subscribe. And don't forget to click the bell button next to the subscribe button to let you know when my videos go live. Also, be sure to check out the stuff in the description down below, whether that be my second channel, Let's Plays Anime, is focused on anime and gaming. So if you guys are interested in that, be sure to check that out. My uh, sponsor, Team Vision. Uh, they have a website down below where you guys can look at strategies and deck lists and all kinds of strats and stuff like that from uh, good experienced players. And then also be sure to check out the join button next to the subscribe button on my channel if you guys would like to support more and get perks. But with that being said, let's get right into today's deck. So today's deck is going to be the uh, VEB09 Mega Connie deck, like I said before. Standard deck, protect. Um, Obviously, you want to go Protect 1. I think Protect 2 is kind of useless until they make the mechanic itself better because there's too much control in the meta for Protect 2 to be good, and there's no like, there's nothing that protects um, things that are on Protect 2 circles. So, if Protect 2 circles could be protected indefinitely, that would be one thing, um, but they can't be so kind of useless. Anyways, starting off with our grade 3s, we have 4. True Demonic Rifle Rogue Gunning Colio. Gunning Colio has two Vanguard abilities. The first one is when placed, this unit gets plus 5,000 power and a drive check until the end of the turn. Then you put the top card of your opponent's deck into the drop zone, so you mill them one. And if it's a grade three or greater, this unit gets plus 10,000 power, plus one drive until the end of the turn. So you basically mill them one card on ride, um, and then if it's a grade three or greater, then you get quad drive and a crit, or sorry, a quad drive and 10,000 power. So that's very, very good um, to hit those force clans and stuff like that. Um, but also, obviously, who would turn down a, a, an extra drive check? Like, that's really good. Um, then its second ability is actually what makes this deck really, really gimp. Um, its second ability is Vanguard. Uh, during your main phase, you can Soul Blast 1 Grade 3. Put the top card of your opponent's deck into the drop zone, and your opponent cannot call the same grade as that card from his or her hand until the end of the turn. So basically, what this means is that I Soul Blast a Grade 3, my opponent mills a card if they mill a trigger then they mill a grade zero and then you can't guard with grade zeros for the rest of the turn so pgs heals crits um draw trigger pgs they're like all out of the equation for that turn so that makes this deck really gimpy and if you uh, happen to mill a trigger off that skill then you're probably going to get the win over your opponent because there's not that much that they can do to guard with like ones and twos in their hand unless they're playing murakumo then they can guard with shiryuki but that's another case scenario altogether Moving on to our next grade 3, we have 4 Unrivaled Blade Rogue Cycloma Tooth. Cycloma Tooth has a Vanguard Rearguard ability and then it also has a Wind Road Upon ability. The first ability is Vanguard Rearguard when it attacks a Vanguard. Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1, this unit gets plus 10,000 power. Then put the top card of your opponent's deck into the drop zone. And if it is grade 1 or greater, this unit gets plus 1 critical until the end of the, uh, end of the turn. 
So uh, Cycloma Tooth gets plus one critical if you mill anything that's not a trigger, and if you mill a trigger, the reward itself is milling a trigger out of your opponent's deck. But ideally, you want to mill something that's not a trigger so that you can get that crit, put a little pressure on your opponent. And then when it's rode upon uh, from grade 3 to grade 3, your opponent chooses a card from their hand, discards it, and one of your vanguards hits plus 5,000 until the end of the turn for each of that card's grade. So it kind of functions as a break ride, um, if you guys were around the game when break rides were a thing. Then finishing out our grade 3 lineup with 10 grade 3s, we have 2 Death Warden um, Antlion. Antlion says Vanguard Rearguard when it attacks, Soul Blast 1 grade 3, discard 2 cards from your hand, and then it gets plus 10,000 power of critical, and your opponent cannot guard with Sentinels until the, um, your opponent cannot guard with sentinels like during that battle um so very very good obviously any card that gets power in a crit and prevents you from pging is very good um i don't the only thing i don't like about this card is that you have to discard two but by the time you're discarding two your opponent's probably gonna die anyways um moving on to our grade twos we have four machining mantis it has a vanguard rearguard ability that says when placed counter boss one look at the top six cards of your deck for one grade three Put into your hand by revealing it and then shuffle your deck and this unit gets plus 6,000 power. So another grade 3 searcher, your ideal ride for grade 2. Um, your next card is 4, uh, Hiding Killer Leaf. Hiding Killer Leaf says Vanguard Rearguard when it attacks a Vanguard. Counter Boss 1, Soul Blast 1, this unit gets plus 10,000 power. And then you can mill the top card of your opponent's deck and if it's a grade 1 or grayer, you draw a card. So obviously another one of those cards where milling the trigger is its own reward and then milling anything else that's not a trigger, you get an extra reward. Then we have three Spear Attack Mutant uh, Megalara Rancher. Megalara Rancher has the ability on Rearguard to attack Vanguard, and it gets plus 2,000 power for each of your opponent's rested Rearguards. Then if you put a Rearguard into your soul, your opponent cannot intercept until the end of the turn. So um, that's really, really good because you can stop your opponent from intercepting on like Antlion turns, stuff like that. Uh, it can be pretty good. And then that's it for our Grade 2s, making 11 Grade 2s. Uh, moving on to our Grade 1s, we have four Machining Hornet. Machining Hornet actually is the card that um, makes you prefer to go second in this deck. But uh, Vanguard Rearguard, when an attack hits a Vanguard, when an attack they're boosted, look at the six cards from the top of your deck, put one grade three into your hand by revealing it, shuffle your deck, and if you put a card into your hand and this card is on Rearguard Circle, put this unit into your soul. So obviously, the preferred thing is to ride this card on Vanguard when you're going second and attack, and hopefully hit, and hopefully get a grade three. Um, that's the most broken thing you can do. Um, you can also ride Hornet, call Hornet if you have two Hornets at the very beginning of the game, and that's really, really good as well. Then we have three Brawny Jerk. Uh, Brawny Jerk has two rearguard abilities. First one is when placed, Soul Blast 1. This unit gets plus 6,000 power, and then you can mill the top card of your opponent's deck, and if it's grade 1 or greater, you Soul Charge, and if it's a trigger, that's your own reward. Um, then the secondary rearguard ability is when it boosts a unit that attacks a grade 3 or greater Vanguard. Discard a card from your hand, and your opponent chooses a card from their hand and discards it. So, a one-for-one one trade. Um, you usually just use it when you're ahead of your opponent so that your opponent can get closer to dying. Then we have three Stealth Millipede. Stealth Millipede has two rearguard abilities. First one says if this unit is rested, all of your opponent's rearguards in the same column as this unit cannot stand. Um, that includes during a, uh, using effects, uh, stuff like Mordred Phantom, Shadow Pod, and stuff like that. And then uh, it, its secondary regard ability is when it's attack or the attack that it boosted hits, basically when it participates in an attack, um, put this unit into your soul if the attack hits and then counter charge one and the effect is mandatory if the attack hits. Then uh, rounding out our grade one lineup, we have two platoon leader butterfly officer. Butterfly officer's skill is on rear guard when placed, rest this unit, choose one of your other rear guards and it gets plus 10,000 power. If you did choose, then at the end of the turn, Put that into your soul, counter charge one, and that's it. Then for our grade zeros, we run one machining worker ant, obviously our draw a card starter. Then we run eight crit, four draw and four heal, four jewel flasher, two sharp nail scorpio, two shelter beetle, four paralyzed madonna, and four medical battler rampley. Um, so with that, that has been the deck explanation part of the video. So we're gonna switch over to the play portion, boom. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, we are on the play portion of the video now. So we are going to start playing some games here. I fell asleep, so we're going to see if we can catch some regular matches. Hey, we actually got someone that lives in Japan. That's where we're about to go, hey. Hey. Alright guys, let's get these matches done. 
so I can do my last packing for Japan and be gone in the win. Alright, our opponent rides. Use his skill, draw a card. Alright, we draw for turn. Ride, butterfly officer. Draw using the shooting worker ant. Unfortunately, we don't have a hornet. We do get a critical trigger though, bypassing the attack. Sick. Yeah, these two decks have an inter uh, interesting interaction with each other too because Grand Blue like mills themselves and I mill them, so <coughs> they'll probably deck out far earlier than usual. Which is kind of funny if you think about it. Alright, uh, my opponent uses Romario skill. Counter boss one, put a grade three. Franger into soul, they mill three. And they get a uh, rune shade to hand. Call rune shade to rear guard. Alright, we no guard Vanguard, our opponent checks a critical trigger. Unfortunate. We only wanted one damage, not two. Hopefully we check a trigger on defensive so we can one card block. Okay. Oh. Very good. Oh, never mind, we don't heal. It's because we crit him. Skill of Rune Shade, no two. And it's 30. And we guard for 31. Stand and draw. Ride, Hiding Tail, Killer Leaf. Um, attack Vanguard. Skill, Counter Blast, Soul Blast. It's plus 10,000. Mill a card, and I draw a card. And 19 to Vanguard. No guard. Check. Lancer. Critical trigger, we are completely supportive of that. Alright, our opponent goes for turn. Ride Baskar. Get Protect 1. Use that skill, that grade one, retire, and mill two. Well, this man runs draw triggers in the grand blue that are not the PG draw. That man's wild. Fast perk skill, kind of a full blast, call card. Alright, call back the uh, same card. Just use the skill again, I presume. No two triggers, that's amazing. Uh, call Romario behind Rune Shade. Call another Romario. And call a Nightstorm. Harpon is trying to go in.
Banger attacks with 32. No guard. Check one. Check two. Heal trigger. Unfortunately, he does heal. He or she does heal. Damage check one. Damage check two. And we lost two good cards. No card 34. Oh my gosh, where are all of our damage triggers, bro? Um, card for 29. Uh, in that case, card for 39, like this. And then draw. Six, we got Gun and Colio. Alright. Attack for twelve. Guard for 57, that's no pass. One, two, where are my triggers? Come on, my opponent's taking a super long time to move. Using Basket skill, kind of us one, so us one. There's only a couple things I can do because I have so many grade threes in my hand. Took so long to decide that he wanted to call him a Mario. Ready for PG. One. Oh my gosh. 
I wish I could check triggers. Must be nice. Uh, attack for 25. Guard and intercept. And attack for 34. Guard. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to read this my foot because my foot fell asleep. Alright, draw for turn. Ride gunning Colio. Let's try to go for the gimp. So gunning Colio first. Please mill a grade three. Okay, grade zero. I mean that's its own reward, I guess. And then Gunning Polio Mill. Oh, zero. Dang it. I swear that's straight up unfair, bruh. PG. One. Oh my gosh. Wow. I like how you can do twin drive and get triggers, and then I can get triple drive and not get any triggers. That's wild to me. Last turn. Oh, big attack for 29. I would have to PG that and drop this. Then attack for 24. An attack for 25. Yeah, I can't live no matter what. Didn't check enough. Still checking triggers. That's wild. I don't know what it is, but every time I always play against someone who's playing Ganicolio, they check hella triggers. But me? Me? I check nothing. person also just took forever to do very simple things which was like eh do you really need this long to decide that you're gonna call the only grade one that you have an option of calling to the only circle where you want to call grade one like I feel like it wasn't that hard all right guys we're playing in someone um, next who has a 1240 rating so they got to be pretty decent. Um, put one back, two back, three back. Alright, they're playing Aqua Force. Ride Wheel Assault. Start a cell draw. Draw. Ride the Hornet. Draw. Check the Hornet. Kill trigger wasted. That's good. Uh, 
had like Chroma Tooth to him. Wheel Assault, kind of a swan draw, all card. Still top seven for Algos. Oh wow, he didn't get any of the, or she, he or she didn't get any of the grade one searches off. That's pretty unlucky. But they made up for it with the front. I was just thinking that I didn't want them to check the front. Anything else, literally. Yep, and it begins, no damage triggers. Yep, no triggers. And it's all my threes too, that's the saddest part. And the critical trigger comes at the end when I no longer need you. Seems legit. And then draw. Pride Mantis. Uh, add cutting folio to him. Maelstrom. That's interesting that he didn't just choose to ride a regular Maelstrom. Twelve. Guard that for a two to pass. Oh my god. I wish people would not heal. Attacks for 20. I'm gonna block that since we're gonna end up going to 4 damage, anyways, even though we really didn't want to. And 
gonna say draw, so we're gonna draw. Out of Vanguard. And then draw. Attacks for 12, our opponent guards for 22. Alright, so this is gonna be too good to Vanguard. Kill trigger, that's bomb. Vanguard. No guard. Oh snap, I'm dropping here. Out of Vanguard draw. Hornet sail. Oh, he doesn't have another glory. Oh, uh, block with a crit. Sorry, I'm not talking as much, guys. I'm literally getting tired because my opponent's moving so slow. Alright, opponent didn't check any damage triggers. Or, sorry, drive triggers. Like we need to ride getting Polio and hope for again, boys. Give me a great throw higher. Correct. Oh, 
room. This guy who's gonna kill you still. No great ones. GG's. Unfortunately, we didn't mill zero because all he's been guiding with is zeros, and I think we could have just won. Alright, triple drive. Or maybe quadra drive, actually. To... Actually, it's just triple drive. Oh my gosh, again with the no check triggers. That's wild. That's like so crazy to me. Like, how can I not check triggers? Yeah, if only the mill was a, a zero. At least he doesn't have another glory. This could get a lot worse or be a lot worse. Tag Banger for 14. Card. Assault for the next two turn or the next two attacks. Now I think Calm is third and fourth battle, if I'm not mistaken. If it's anything beyond a certain threshold of a battle, we we just lose. Because we can't block another 25k attack. Oh, okay, bet. Alright, spin and draw. Ride gunning Colio. Vanguard skill. No. Vanguard skill. Mellow zero, mellow zero. Frick. What a great deal. Check one. Come on, give me at least one trigger. 
Oh Take my it. god. What the hell? Guys, I'm actually the most unlucky person on earth. Like, if you ever watch these future fights, like, like, whoa, like, what the F? It's like actually insane how I do triple drive twice and don't get any triggers. Oh boy. Oh, that's two attacks. So, fourteen. Thank goodness for Stealth Millipede, it actually saved me. And then draw. Go ahead and call final turn. I lost Soul Blast. Guard, take that two crit attack. Yes, we win. Lord, that game took so long. Like, I wish people knew how to play their standard decks on EX. Like, also. Announcement, this is the last time that I'll play, be playing EX for a future fight, because this is the last set that it goes to. I forgot to say that in the very beginning of the video, but I feel like it should be very apparent if you know anything about card fight EX. It was a fun ride, sort of, kind of. Got sacked along the way a lot. Can't say I enjoyed getting sacked all the time, but, you know, it was what it was. Alright guys, so I'm putting one back. Now we're playing with Shadow Paladin. So this is going to be an interesting matchup because of uh, Stealth Millipede just being such a good card against them. Opponent rides Masquerade. So attack for 13. Guard. No. 
Let's check the Hornet. No, that's useful. Kill Soul Blast Mill. Okay, I double blasted her. Let's see. No one to main this turn. I think that was pretty dumb of my opponent to do, but. Ooh. And that's what I get for calling my opponent dumb, I guess. I get sacked in return. Damage check one. Damage check two. Of course, no triggers. Of course. This one's gonna be a crit. Oh, okay. Oh, we lost another hornet. Okay, this game is going real weird. Alright, going to Polio. Catch one. No card. No JP, please. Nope, no JPG. Oh, that's still not terrible, though. Alright, still. Trigger this game, please. Guess not. And my opponent gets a damage trigger after I just build three triggers. Oh boy. It must just be EX, bro. This doesn't happen in real life. I'm not this unfortunate in real life, it's crazy. I'm unfortunate, if not this unfortunate. Alright, stand and draw. 
Right, danger launch. Force one. Danger launch ability. Soul blast top dark. Add dark to him, probably. Yep. All blocking sword breakers still kind of lost one. Draw a card. All bird. Uh, PG. Uh, drop. Double crit so I can end this game. Oh my god, please don't do this. Don't do this. Alright, at least I got one crit. Like, Jesus. It's like my triggers don't even exist. And I've milled so many of my opponent's triggers already. Like, I legit want to see their drop zone. One, two, three, four, five. I've milled five triggers. They're still hitting triggers. That's crazy. I put a better not check any triggers, I swear. This game has been so dumb. This deck has been so dumb, actually. Defensive after not checking triggers. Uh, we only have two PGs, which I would use the PG, the rear card columns. Uh, this is gonna attack for 28. Yep, I can't guard it. 
Wow, look at that. Oh my god, bro. Alright, whatever. Whatever. It's cool. It's cool. That's the last time that we're playing EX ever again. Like, kind of ridiculous. I mean, unless I have to. Like, unless they update the sets or something like that. But... That's been the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like on the video if you liked it. Comment down below letting me know what you thought of these horde games or this horde deck. Or the fact that I triple drive every time and never get triggers. Um, yeah. Or um, also be sure to subscribe. Click the bell button down below to not miss content from me. And uh, look forward to seeing my content from Japan. Um, I'm sure that will be lots of fun uh, to record. Both to record and edit and make and do and all that stuff but i'm super tired right now so with that being said this has been josh and i'll see you guys on the next video